Welcome to Pat Stats. Another week of baseball is in the books, and Pat Stats is here to recap it. We're going to go team by team first. The Orioles continue to out, outperform expectations as um, last week they swept the Phillies, and um, they are so far 2-1 and one in a series versus the Nationals. They had a doubleheader on Friday, I believe, that um, was a makeup game of a suspended game. They went 1-1 one, one that day, and they won yesterday. So they, they're they beating teams, and who would have thought? It, however, the Red Sox are not beating teams right now. They are 0-6 in the last six games. Worst record in the AL. I believe they are second worst in all of baseball behind the Pirates. Their pitching has just been absolutely horrible, and they cannot seem to beat the Yankees. Another thing. <laughs> Slipping ahead to the AL West, the A's have the best record in the AL. Um, they um, had a pretty good week, pretty good season overall. Je definitely first place in the AL West. And in the last two days, they've had two great comebacks against the Giants. So they are playing hot right now. The Braves, though, are not. They are 1-4 since Monday, and they've had some key injuries. We mentioned last week that Mike Soroka, their ace, is out for the season, leaving Max Fried as their only um, real starter, really reliable starter. But since then, they've had to place Ozzy Albies and Ron Acuna Jr., two of their um, bright young stars. They're on the IL, too. I believe Albies has a wrist injury, and Acuna, I forget what, what he's up, up with, but they are both out of the lineup right now. And they aren't playing well. But neither are the Mets. They won a series against the Marlins, split against the Nationals, and so far are 0-2 versus the Phillies. So they're just another team. You don't know what to expect. They go on a two-game winning streak and a two-game losing streak. Who knows what to think of them? But the Phillies are also not performing. Although they have won two games against the Mets, they were swept by the Orioles. And their bullpen um, is just completely horrible, uh, even though the Mets just could not hit it the other day. Overall, it's still pretty bad, and I don't think the bullpen is going to be good enough to get them far into the playoffs if they even make it. Also, the NL East is not playing well right now because the Nationals, um, they also have a, they also had a big injury. Steven Strasburg, who just came back from the aisle, is back on the aisle with some injury. I forget what it is, but he's going to be out for a while. And like we said before, the Orioles keep beating them, and that's not going to be good for them. <laughs> The Cardinals are finally back in action. Um, they swept the doubleheader yesterday against the White Sox, their first two games since the end of July. They missed more than two weeks um, because of they had an outbreak. And because of that, they can have so many doubleheaders. You see all these doubleheaders that they scheduled on all these days. And if you saw on the Pat Stats discussion earlier this morning, I mentioned that this week... They are going to have a three a three day span with two double headers on August seventeenth, Monday as tomorrow, and on Wednesday, August nineteenth. That's one of three times that happens this year. In the middle of September, they have three double headers in a week: a double header on Monday, on and on Wednesday, and on Friday. Completely crazy. So yeah, and speaking of the Pat Stats discussion, every day I'm going to post a little stat on there. It's right by a. Like, under the, the sections, you have home, videos, it says discussion, and that's where you're going to find all those cool little stats. However, though, the Reds have had their series versus the Pirates postponed because one player tested positive. We don't know how serious this is. As far as we know right now, it is only one player. And if it stays one player, that is good. But if it doesn't, that's going to cause huge problems with the NL Central and Central in general, as the Cardinals have so many double hairs to make up. If the Reds have so many double hairs to make up, that's not going to make for some good, some good, I don't know, <laughs> everything. The Cardinals were supposed to play the Reds this week later, and then again at the end of August and beginning of September. So that could cause some huge trouble. By the way, the Cardinals, they, they actually only scheduled to make up for 58 of their 60 games. If those last two games are meaningful, then they will schedule them the day after the season's, the season is supposed to end. Those games are against the Tigers. The Rockies and Padres have not performed well this week, as they were pretty much very good the last um, couple weeks. The Rockies are 1-4 since Monday. The Padres are 2-4 since Monday. Um, they both were hot and first and second place, but the Dodgers are first place now. The Diamondbacks, though, have moved in the better direction. They are 4-1 since Monday after they had not been scoring and their pitching had not been good. 
this week it has been, and I think that's more like the Diamondbacks. I did not expect them to be very bad, but still pretty good. Moving on from team um, stats, we're looking at some MLB stat leaders for the hitters. He's runs leading the uh, MLB in runs is Mike Yastrzemski of the Giants. You see Charlie Blackman's off to a good start as he leads in hits and um, batting average. You see, you have ties here for RBIs and home runs with Nelson Cruz and Fernando Tatis Jr. for RBI. And Aaron Judge, who's hurt right now, Tatis and Trout tied for home runs all at nine. Jesse Winker of the Reds is hot right now. He leads the MLB in on base percentage and OPS. And you see Aaron Judge in the middle leading and slugging. But again, he's hurt. For pitchers, Lance Lynn, um, he pitched a complete a complete game at Coors Field this week, so that's going to help him. He he leads the MLB in ERA and um, opponent's batting average. Saves is tied with Zach Britton of the Yankees and Liam Hendricks of the A's. Whip, who knew that Dylan Bundy was going to do so well? Who Change of scenery for Dylan Bundy really helped. And Shane Bieber, who is just absolutely dominating right now, leads in strikeouts and quality starts and wins. Is also a tie with Shane Bieber, Garrett Cole, and Sonny Gray, who's also performing very well. To finish off, we're just going to look at the standings for each division. Um, the Yankees sit atop the AL East at 14 and 6. The, the Orioles are only two games out. The Rays are only two and a half games out. And the Red Sox down there, you see, it's not looking good for them. For the AL Central, um, the Twins lead it, but the Indians are only one game back. Tigers are at 500, two and a half games back. The White Sox are a little underperforming right now, and the Royals, I don't think we expected them to go far. The ALS, we mentioned the A's are playing well. They have a four-game lead over the Rangers for first place. The Astros are playing a little bit better. They're at 500 right now. But the Angels and Mariners, they're not playing well either, really. The end of the least, the Marlins continue to stay in first place, only a game ahead of the Braves, who are two games over 500. But then the Phillies are three games back, the Mets are, and then the Mets and Nationals are each four games back. For the NL Central, the Cubs were a little, a little worse this week, but still have a three and a half game lead over the Cardinals, who have only played seven games. The Brewers are about 500, as are the Reds. The Pirates are nowhere close, nine games out already. It's, and finally, for the NL West, the Dodgers are. Um, Back in first place at 15-7, and seven, followed by the Rockies at 12-8. and eight. The Padres, as we mentioned before, they're not playing well right now. They've, they're back at um, 500. Arizona, they're close to 500, four and a half games out. And the Giants are 8-14, and 14, and seven games out. So that's all the Pat Stats today. Don't forget to check the discussion page of the Pat Stats YouTube channel. I'll post a new stat every day regarding baseball and all, the, and all of those fun stats. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.